Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we review the segments of the facial nerve. We start by mentioning that we're looking at a CT of the temporal bones. The first segment is a intracranial segment or the cisternal segment, which is not shown here. But then for the second segment, we use the internal auditory canal as our landmark. The internal auditory canal then um, gives rise to the labyrinthine segment and then the geniculate ganglion. Have in mind that some of the first, second, and third segments vary a little bit depending on what source you read. For example, the second segment in some sources is the meatal segment, which goes into internal auditory canal, and then other sources have the labyrinthine segment as the second segment instead of the third, and then they use the geniculate ganglion as their third segment. I know this can be confusing, but the anatomy won't change. So the main point is that you start with an intracranial segment of the facial nerve, then you go into the internal auditory canal, you go to the labyrinthine segment of the facial nerve, and then the geniculate ganglion. At this point, then it will give rise to the tympanic portion of the facial nerve that you see here. Look at its relationship with the middle ear, the malleus, and the vestibule, and then we keep going down and it forms the mastoid segment. The mastoid segment of the facial nerve is the fifth segment of the facial nerve. And then you have the extra temporal, which is the sixth segment, and it's also another one that's not really shown here. So aside from the first and sixth segment of the facial nerve, which we have described, the second, third, and fourth segments of the and fifth segment of the facial nerve are clearly shown here in this temporal bone CT axial views. Thank you very much guys and don't forget to subscribe.